Hello, I am Banzar from Banzar Gaming, and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon with Banzar Games. This is part three. Let's go straight back into the game. We can uh, have a quick look at our game history to remind us of uh, what we've done. We did make Startergy, which is probably one of the best games ever made. We made Frank the Flea, didn't do so well. People hated the superhero adventure, Frank the Flea. But, you know, movie simulation was a great combo. Everyone loves simulating being in a movie. Um, so I think Startergy was actually... Yep, yeah, Startergy was in fact our best game we've ever made. So we've got to live up to that, somehow. And we are going to make our own game engine, I believe. We're going to create a custom engine, we're going to put all the new stuff that we researched, 2D Graphics V2, Mono Sound, Linear Story, Save Games, and Gamepad. We're going to have all of these things. But are we going to, what are we going to call our game engine? I think we'll just call it the... the... Banzar Gin version. 1.0. Makes sense. Banzai Games, the Banzai Gin. Okay, let's go. We're now creating our own custom game engine. Do I get research points for this? Because that'd be cool. When it's finished, we'll be able to use it when creating new games. Awesome. Go, go, go. Oop, the Master V has been released. We can make some games from that. We'll have a look at its market share and stuff when we are done with our new engine. Our next game is going to be the best thing ever. We want to research sequels at some point because then we can make the award-winning sequel to Strategy, which is going to be even better. Oh, the Master V has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but it will flourish in other parts of the world. I guess we'll uh, have to wait and see how that turns out. I think, I think the uh, Master V is going to go down in history. That's probably the greatest console ever. Oh, invest over 100k in a new game engine. Awesome. Your new game engine, Banzajin version 1.0, is now complete. Your first custom game engine is now ready. You should try using it in your next game. Okay. So, do we have any other research? No, we don't. We do have 10 research points that we could use. So maybe, well, now that we have our new engine, maybe we should make a big fantasy game. What if we made a big fantasy adventure? Let's do that. Let's make a fantasy adventure game called... Okay, I can see... What's in my room? I can see the DVD of Cabin in the Woods. So we're going to take Cabin. We're going to take the word Cabin. Uh, cabin of... Cabin of... Um, cabin of Murder. Why not? Why not Cabin of Murder? Let's do that. Let's do Cabin of Murder. Because I can see a murder mystery dinner party game. <laughs> in a box over there. Okay, we can now specify our target audience. Okay, Cabin of Murder is going to be a mature game, I think. It's going to be a mature fantasy game. And I think we might have to go with the PC for that for that kind of thing. A mature fantasy game? Do they want do they want that anywhere else? Cabin of Murder. Okay, it's mature. It's a fantasy it's a fantasy... I guess we can make an RPG. I mean, I do want to say I can do a big RPG, but I mean, we can make some smaller ones first. So let's do a fantasy RPG called Cabin of Murder. What's it for? What are the market shares like? See, the PC doesn't have much, but I don't know what mature people like. Maybe we should just go with the uh, TES again. Everyone loves the TES. Let's do it with the Banzargen version 1.0. Okay, are we ready to make Cabin of Murder? Let's go. 2D Graphics V2. Oh, hang on, this costs 60k. I'm going to go into negative. Can we afford to do this? That do it. We're on minus 32.5k. This was an awful idea. We can over here draw up to 50k. We're going to go bankrupt. Okay, this was the worst idea ever. Um, can we do a contract while developing our game? Is that allowed? Okay, the engine has to be good. Story and quest has to be brilliant. It's an RPG. Engine, nah, not so much. Gameplay. Alright, let's go, let's go like that. We know we can't, oh dear. 
We're going to go bankrupt. You better develop this game fast. Um, yes, we'd love to give an interview. Great. I don't know if we'll survive to next week. Oh, no. Oh, it's going, it's going fairly, fairly fast. Oh, according to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Peter Parkour, owner and CEO of Banzai Games, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. That's what he sounds like. Games with mature themes will become more common. Surely not. It'll never happen. I mean, the recipe for success might involve not being this far... Like, this far in debt. Um, that, that is, oh no, 40.5k, it's not good, okay, dialogues have to be brilliant, AI, pretty good, level design, also pretty good, let's, I don't know, let's do that, let's do that, we can make casual games, so I don't care, we can't make anything if this dies, I don't want to make casual games anyway, okay, I have a feeling we're going to lose her. This could be the end. Oh, cost 10k. No, that'll... That'll kill us. <laughs> we can't have our mono sound that we researched. We've got to have basic sound. Oh, we could have no sound. Are we going to do a soundless game? Oh, wait. Um... I don't know how close we are. I can't see the thing. I don't know how close we are to finishing. Can we risk... Right, we're going to risk 5k. We're going to risk it. World design's got to be brilliant. The graphics are going to be pretty good. Sam, we don't care about because we're only putting basic ones in. Oh dear. Oh no, it's gonna. It's all gonna fail. Come on. We need to get rid of the bugs. We're about to go bankrupt. Oh no. If I click no and go bankrupt, that's the end, isn't it? 160,000 in a year's time. Can we do that? Let's do it. Let's do it. <sighs> this is a bad idea. The company has been unsuccessful in introducing high-priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Oh, no. Ah, well. Okay, bugs are gone. Can we get anything more? Yep, another design. Any more technology? Nope. We don't want the hype to go down, so let's release. This game better be good, because <sighs> we wasted a lot of money. We did get a new record for design. It's a great combo. Come on. Come on, Cabin of Murder. You can, you can do it. Oh no. I am very worried about this. This would better get the best reviews ever. Right, great, we can have a joystick. Okay. Come on. First reviews are here. Okay, come on. <gasps> I can see tens, I can see tens, I can see tens. That is a nine. 8.25 is our best. This is... This could be... Oh no, seven, what are you doing? Come on. Oh, I see tens. I see tens. One of the best. Game Hero. Thank you, Game Hero and Star Games. I don't care about you, informed gamer. You're idiots. Oh, that's only an eight. Okay, so it's not beaten. It's not beaten strategy. But it's pretty good. People like it. Oh, look at the money rolling in. The money The money is coming in. In bucket loads. We only need 160k to pay the people back. We've nearly got that already. They're falling way below expected numbers, but it's still nearly 160k, so we're okay. We're we're not gonna die. The chosen platform isn't popular with the target audience. Yeah, I considered that. I did think that might be a problem, but hey. Portable game device called GameLink. The device comes with changeable game cartridges and monochrome screen on a green background. Built-in speakers and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Multiplayer via a cable? It's madness. Compared to PCs, the game league is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. I doubt that'll go anywhere. Game league's had to hit shelves next month. No one will notice. No one will notice the game league. Who cares? Sounds rubbish. A surprise hit with players. Awesome. The people love Cabin of Murder. Okay. What research can we do? Shall we grab casual games? Let's make a casual game. Well, the game link is going to hit sh it hit shelves in a month, did it say? Let's make a casual game for the game link. I really hope it said a month. Because if not, then <laughs> there's going to be no game link to develop it. Oh no, is it? There's no game link. <laughs> the game link hasn't come out. 
Okay, we're going to have to make a casual game for the TES then, I guess. Let's do that. Develop a new game. Oh, that's not what we want to do. Develop a new game for the TES. It's going to be a casual game. It's going to be... Oh, do I have to put casual games into the engine? Okay, well, let's not do that then yet. Let's make a game for young people. Sports. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Let's make... Everyone loves superheroes. Superheroes is our, th it's our thing. It's the company thing. We're going to make a massive superhero RPG. Eventually, at some point. Not now. For now we're going to make a, sim a superhero action game for young people. It's going to be on the TES. With our engine. And it's going to be called... What's a good name for a superhero? I can see... Soft on a can of non-alcoholic soft brew. Um, and I can see... I can see lots of actual superheroes over there. Um, soft... Okay, it's called Soft Softron. It's a robot called Softron. Oh, no, because it's a pun. It's a really bad pun. <gasps> My game has a bad pun in the name. I'm so proud. Soft Ron. But he's a robot. But he's really soft. He's like made of soft metal. And he like goes through space. Looking for a cure to his softness. So that he can be an awesome robot superhero. That's what he wants. That's all Soft Ron wants. Really. Okay. This time we're going to put the stuff in. Right. All that's going in. Engine. Um, engine's going to be good. Gameplay's going to be good. Story and quests. Uh, uh, do they care? Do they care? Meh, we'll put it there. Don't know whether the kids care so much about their stories. Oh, now the game link's released. Brilliant. Could have put softer on on the game link. Okay. Dialogues, meh. AI. Level design. Right. Let's go. Everyone's going to love softer on. He's looking for a cure to his softness, so he journeys around space, trying to find someone that has the technology to make the sound amazing. He's looking for someone that has the technology to make his metal body strong so that he can beat up bad guys and save the world, and that can be in the sequel, after he's become like uber powerful at the end of the first one. Oh growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. Ooh. We can do marketing now, that's cool. Well, we need to research it. Let's try and get to 20 for both of these. Come on. Pop some technology in, come on. I'm not going to finish until you put technology in. Peter? What are you doing, Peter? Oh, finish. Fine. We'll have to cope without the 20. But it's still a new record. Peter Parkour is very stubborn today. I've actually got no idea how long I've been filming for. I should have maybe considered that. Uh, Peter Parkour. We've leveled up in graphics and uh, 2D V2. Let's release Softer on. See how it goes, because we're going to need to pay people back soon. <gasps> really? 10? A masterpiece? Softer on? Really? Oh, we'd, we need to make a sequel for Softer On for the gameling when we get sequels. Oh, nine, come on. We want to tens all around. This is the best thing ever. 9.5. Best game we've ever made is a game for young children about a superhero robot who just wants his metal skin to be hard enough to brutalize bad guys. It's all he wants. Oh, well. Well, we're making the money, aren't we? Look at that. That's ridiculous. Why? <laughs> We've nearly got a million pounds. Why? <laughs> Why is Soft Run the game that gets us a million pounds? It's awful. This is the worst game ever. Why do people love it so much? Oh no. If you have more than a million in cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. This might sound a lot. Not really. We've got 924 already. Okay, I don't think we want to move too early to the next place. We'll be able to now. We can move to a new office? Not yet. Let's not do it yet. 
Let's wait. It keeps offering you the opportunity to move to a new office. And I think if you move too early, it can be uh, bad. Yep, Star Games gave it a 10. Softron, the best game ever. I guess we have to make a sequel called Hardron? But that just sounds slightly disturbing. Okay, well, I guess that's the thing. People, people want it. Um, okay, what can we do? Marketing for 40 research points. Well, I think when we move into the new office, we will have marketing and we will make a new engine with all the stuff in. But for now, we'll just do joystick, because we can't afford marketing yet. We'll make a new game and then we'll move into the new offices. The Vayner gear. Yeah, that'll be way better than the game link. It'll sell way more. Um, unlike similar devices, which don't come close to the game... Unlike similar devices, not naming any names, Gamelink, which don't come close to the gaming consoles, the Vayner Gear has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. It has a full colour screen. Will it topple the Gamelink? No. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. People love the Gamelink. Everyone loves the Gamelink. We have research joystick. New research available mouse. Can we do that? In three months' time, we need to pay back 160,000. Easy. Let's do some more research. Can we research mouse? Yes, it's only 10 research points. Everything. We're going to have everything in the next uh, in our next engine. Soft Ron is off the market. We made nearly 2 million <laughs> from Soft Ron. We have researched mouse. Awesome. There's nothing to research except marketing. Let's make a new game, we'll get some research from that, then we'll do marketing. What are we going to make? Maybe we should make another medieval a military game. Let's make a military a military have we made a military simulation what have we made before? Have we made a military simulation before? Um superhero action, fantasy RPG, starter G. My favourite game we've made. Oh, it's just brilliant. No, we haven't. Let's make a military simulator. Okay. We can do that. Military simulation. What's it going to be called? Um, ooh, I'm looking around my room. I can see Empire. We've already had Empire, though. We've used Empire. What's on here? There's a Doctor Who Battles in Time trading card right here. There's Grask Group. Disguise. Cyber Rebel? <gasps> okay, Cyber. This is in the future. It's a military, it's a futuristic military thing. Cyber... Um... Cyber... Wars. Brilliant. It's called Cyber Wars. It's a military simulation called Cyber Wars. It's for... A mature audience. I think we can afford to take some risks now that we've got all this money so it's for a mature audience and where are we going to put it? It's mature so I think we might be better off just going with PC obviously we're using the Banzargin the Banzargin let's go it's going to be the best game ever made, Cyber Wars story and quests, meh don't matter, gameplay and engine, very important, engine down a bit maybe, gameplay up a bit, okay so all, all of these things, you can use whatever you want. You can plug a gamepad into your PC if you want. Today the new game platform, Vayner Gear from Vayner, has been released. Awesome. Let's try and beat our records. We need to get over 20 on both of these. In fact, 20 will be a record on technology. I think 20 is our design record, and 19 is our tech record. Dialogues, map, don't care. Level design, very, very important. AI, also very important. Dialogues, meh. Go away, dialogues. I think this is a. Uh, this, this could break some records. It it's, looks like it's going to be. World design, pretty important. Graphics, pretty important. Sound, not as important, but we will keep the mono sound in. Okay. It doesn't look like we're going to break any records, actually, here. Um, oh no, hang on. It's going up. It's, we could break some records if we hang around a bit. 160,000 has been taken. We've still got 1.7 million, so. Who cares? Okay, in two months, G64 will be taken off the market. 
I've realised that this has probably been going on ages this episode. I've got no idea how long it is, so... I think we'll have to end it as soon as we get our... No, are we not going to get a record for anything? Nope. As soon as we get the reviews for this in, I think we're going to end the video. Apparently 19 counts as a new record, even though I'm fairly sure that's exactly what we got last time. But okay, I won't argue. Everything's levelling up, except that, which came very close. It'll level up next time. <laughs> Graphics aren't. Okay. Peter Parker, oh, he's a level 3 human. Release game. Oh no, look at all these things that we've got to research. <laughs> okay, well let's not move yet, we'll move next episode. We'll move next time we get asked, we will move. Let's just find out what Cyber Wars was how how well received it. Oh no. Oh no. A great combination, don't give it a seven then. Six. It's a flop. Cyber Wars. It doesn't it doesn't <laughs> It doesn't have the genius of Soft Ron in it. It doesn't. It's not as good as Soft Ron. Nothing's ever going to be as good as Soft Ron. 9.5. That was brilliant, Soft Ron. Okay. Oh, they filed for bankruptcy. I am surprised too. Ah, uh, oh dear. Never mind. Let's just carry on. Um, Cyber Wars is making us the money. I'm going to end here. Oh, G64 is no longer supported. I'm going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching, and uh, tune in for episode 4 next Thursday, when we will be moving into the new offices at our first chance. We'll be making some new games. We'll be making a new engine, I think, with all our uh, stuff that we've got to research. So thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you next time. I look forward to it. Goodbye.